Hi, I'm Kathy with Faith and Core Fitness, and today I'm going to show you some of the most embarrassing exercise moves. And I'm hoping that you read my devotion before we started so you'll understand why I'm embarrassing myself to show you these embarrassing exercise moves. The devotion was called Stop Caring What People Think and Just Get Out There and Exercise. So this one is a move I can't imagine doing in a gym. This is the piriformis stretch. We have very tight hip flexors and it causes a lot of imbalances in our muscles. So it's going to spend some time with um, stretching hip flexors. So this is one of them. This is the piriformis stretch. And you will soon see why this one is embarrassing. So if you don't have a tube, you'll need a tube because you can do all kinds of exercises with one of these tubes. I'm a massage therapist and one of the things I learned in massage therapy school was myofascial release. It's a certain type of um, different massage technique. Well, with one of these tubes, you can give your own self myofascial release and that's what the piriformis stretch is that I'm showing you right now. You will lean on your tube like so. <laughs> you will move it back and forth like this. And I find this to be rather embarrassing. I don't think that I would ever want to do this at the gym in front of a bunch of people, but I guess I am willing to do it for you right here. <laughs> so that you can do it in the comfort of your own home. So with myofascial release, you want to hold the stretch for about 30 seconds and you just move along. There's all kinds of less embarrassing stretches to do with the tube that are very effective. And I guess I can just throw in a couple so you can see. But right now we're focusing on embarrassing moves here. So this one is rather embarrassing. But it's very good for your calves. And this is a, an easy one. A lot less embarrassing. So you just take it like this and you hold the pressure. And it's kind of like a massage. So I'll have other videos to show you different myofascial release. So the next one I always find to be part of an exercise program is hip circles. And that always makes me feel like quite a dork. Because there's something about it that looks like it's supposed to be sexy, but I don't ever feel sexy doing this. I feel like a big dork. But as you can see, it's working your hip flexors again. And it's really good to work up work on your hip flexors. So here we go. Hip circles. And that always feel rather silly doing this. I think I'm even blushing right now. So that's your hip circles. This one was a little less embarrassing. I do this one all the time. But there's still somewhat of an embarrassing factor to it. This one's also Working with your transverse plane, anytime you can work with your transverse plane, it's a good idea because we don't do that very often. So injuries happen in real life when you're trying to do something in this motion and you're not used to doing it, so you get injured. So all of these hip flexor warm-ups look rather silly, but they do have their place in the world. They don't just embarrass us. Oh, and here's one of my favorites. The Samba Tornado! Woohoo! This, this one, not embarrassing. Here we go, ladies. <laughs> How would you like to do this one in the middle of the gym? I don't think so. All right, now this one I discovered the other day while I was looking up exercises. And after I pulled myself off the floor from my laugh attack, I decided I needed to add it into my embarrassing move routine. I don't even know what it's called. What are we gonna call it? Hit moves on the stability ball, I guess. I don't even know if I can do it. Okay, we're gonna try it. All right, so we're gonna move the ball forward and back. And this is not embarrassing, is it? And then side to side. This one you thought you didn't already look silly. No, I think forward and back looks worse. 
Yeah, forward and back is worse. Side is, side to side, I guess, is okay. All right. And this one, just pull it back. Covering up my ugly, unsightly speakers over there. This one, I must be a lady and sit to the side in order to show this one, or else it would be way too embarrassing. I guess it could be called windshield wipers. I don't know what this is called, but <laughs> that's also for your hip flexors and for your inner thighs. It could be strengthening and warm up. But I've done this in other exercise programs, and I find it to be a little bit embarrassing. So, here you go. All right, and here's something that shouldn't be embarrassing if you're not me. But since I'm me, and I apparently don't know how to run, running in place can be embarrassing. Now, for some reason, my family likes to make fun of my running gait. I have run a few half marathons with this gait, but they still like to make fun of me. They say, this is how mom runs. <laughs> and they make fun of me all the time with that, because somehow, I kick my legs out when I run. So running in place can sometimes be an embarrassing exercise for me. So what I need to do when I run in place so I'm not so embarrassing is really concentrate on keeping my feet in so that I don't go like this. Although I did see a marathon, not this Olympics, but the last one, and the winner actually ran like this. It was amazing. But that's my running gait. So if you want to make running a little bit more embarrassing, you can do the running horse. So I've done the running horse in other programs before. This one's kind of funny. Now, if you read the devotion today, You'll know I was talking about King David and how he danced and leaped for joy for the Lord and his wife did not appreciate it because he embarrassed her. So every time I think of King David dancing and singing for the Lord, I imagine him doing wacky jacks. So let's imagine King David Wacky jacking around as she's praising the Lord as she's bringing in the Ark of the Covenant. Now, I love wacky jacks. I think they're fun. But they do look funny. But you can see better than regular jumping jacks because they are working your abs. So it's kind of fun. Even though you look like a big dork, you look like a happy dork, and you're working your abs. Alright, so now, we're going to bring it down to the floor. And who isn't embarrassed by the looks of glute thrust? <clears throat> Even the name is a little bit embarrassing. Glute thrust. There we go with these. Not so sure I'd want to do this in the middle of a gym with everyone staring at me. So you can do it in the privacy of your own home. And if you want to make it a little more challenging, lift up one foot. Somehow, it doesn't look as embarrassing anymore, does it? There we go. Now, two blocking, two blocking, I don't know, it's a little awkward, but two blocking is really good if you have pronation disorder. Pronation is if you tend to walk a little bit like this or when you go to do your squats and your knees want to turn in some, two blocking. It's good for this. So, I'll 
looks a little bit kooky, but this is a really good exercise. And while you're at that, you might want to try some clamshells. So now the clamshells goes like this. And then you can raise your feet also. And then we have to do on the other side now too. So if you're embarrassed to work out and you worry about what you look like, it's not really that big of a deal. You're getting in shape, that's all that matters. And you're gonna feel better and better every day. Who cares what people think about what you look like when you work out? King David didn't care. He, all he said was, I'm gonna become even more undignified than this. So, just keep on working out and it won't be as awkward as it feels now. Oh, another little awkward thing, speaking of awkward. I do think camel pose feels awkward and looks awkward. Here we go, so it doesn't feel very good. Hurts my back, kind of. Hurts my thighs. And it looks funny. But that's cam that's camel pose. And then rolling boat hold. That might be a little bit awkward too. Let's see. Ah, if I can get there. I'm trying that again. Alright, here we go. For some reason I can't even do this one right now. And if I did it on the frontal view, it might be even a little bit more awkward. So we're just gonna keep it here. Oh, there it is. There's the rolling boat. All right, we're just gonna end this whole happy mess with happy baby. Happy baby, yoga pose that, I don't know, it's just kind of a little bit funny looking. And I guess you can do your arms outside your legs if you want, or inside your legs if you want. And you just rock back and forth. Like a little happy baby. <sighs> Let me just stretch a little. <clears throat> Thank you for being willing to get embarrassed with me. Hope you enjoyed this exercise. So I will sing to be mad for my king. Nothing Lord is hindering. So I will sing to be mad for my king. Nothing Lord is hindering this passion in my soul. Oh